cherry ripe is actually a chocolate bar that I used to grow up with and it's dark chocolate, it has a little bit of coconut and also some cherries on the inside. And I was, I was kind of obsessed with this whole nature of, of this chocolate and the coordination of the flavour. And it's funny, I, I become obsessive and I started eating them and eating them and eating them. And it was one of those things where, you know, it was my preferred sort of candy or dessert or something that I loved as a child. And I think as I grew up, and especially moving to the United States, what happened was it was no longer available. So there was no substitution because the reality of it is, is that there's nothing like that in the United States. And I was sort of pondering in the kitchen as you do as a chef and starting to think about really the value of, of, of what you're trying to be inspired with. The conceptualization of the cherry ripe was not only a thought process from a childhood memory, but it's also something that in the kitchen, it is a technical sort of dish that you have to put together and it's not as crazy as one would think. All you do is we've got these beautiful, uh, perfect spherical molds and then we actually make a, a mousse out of the foie gras and we add a little bit of cream and gelatin and then you pour it into the actual mold and set them and freeze them. Uh, after that we make a very simple cherry jelly made with gelatin and cherry puree with a little bit of citric acid and some sugar. And then we dip the balls inside the actual cherry glaze and then it sets perfectly because the actual sphere is cold. Once you have that, basically there's the cherry. We have a hazelnut twill that, that it sort of acts as though it's the stem. Uh, and then also we garnish uh, the plate with a little bit of hisop leaves to give it that sort of natural look and that beautiful flavor profile of anise goes very well too. Uh, the coconut espuma, nothing extraordinary. Some coconut milk, we put it into a CO2 gun, we aerate it, put a little bit of toasted fresh coconut on top, and then we have a bit of chocolate twill, uh, and it's also served with a little bit of cherry gel as well. Uh, but the gel is exactly the same thing as what you make the, the glaze out of. Um, so it's not a uh, a thing that's so technically amazing but you know the one thing is it looks perfect and it's something that's very shiny and I think from the eyes it's, it's really uh, from a layperson standpoint of view it's something that's a great wow factor.